What's going on everyone? Um, back here in my garage, went fishing yesterday, couldn't really shoot an intro. It was uh, super cold and windy. Uh, I couldn't really put the camera down to uh, get an intro going, so I decided to shoot one in my garage. Um, don't really know which direction my YouTube channel is gonna go. Um, I don't feel like I have enough knowledge to be teaching people how to fish. Um, I do know I like to edit, I like to fish, and I'll put those two together and whatever happens, happens. Um, I got a couple projects with a couple other people, but I wanna do something a little different today. Um, just based on some things that have happened to me recently, I've been going to Roosevelt Lake a lot. And for people in Arizona know, Roosevelt's uh, it's pretty out there, you're pretty secluded, it's about two hours from where I live, and there's really no one or nothing going on out there, especially during the week. Um, so about last week, I was fishing till about sunset, got to the dock, and um, a lady and her son were there, and they had actually told me they found somebody in the water. Um, it was a 90-year-old man, um, was sitting in the water about 30 minutes, boat floated away, had to go get it, pull him out, he's borderline hypothermic. Um, he was not prepared. He had no pants on, um, he was shivering cold, lips were blue, all the things, all those good things. Well, I'm a registered nurse by trade, that's what I do outside of all of this stuff. Um, that's how I make my money, that's how I make my living. So I wanted to get on here and share with you guys watching at home what I carry on my boat aside from all the essential gear that the state of Arizona requires you to have. Like um, besides the life vest, throw all that good stuff, right? Um, I personally keep in my boat and in my car pretty much at all times a few items um the first one i'm going to talk about is a little bit touchy um how to, it depends on how you feel and what your views are i don't really care this is what i carry i always bring with me a pistol um this is a glock 23 40 cal um, i'm going to show you some footage right now of when i was at the lake i saw a mountain lion a ta uh, attack of a deer and we don't really encounter those all that much. Um, I talked to my buddy Manny Chi, who's a licensed guide out here, and he says it's pretty rare, but you never know what critters are out here that might get you, or if you're at the lake, and just self-protection. Uh, so I'm gonna cut to that video right now and show you that footage. Fucking mountain lion eating a deer. Welcome back. The second and third item I keep is I keep a first aid kit. In my first aid kit, you can make it as complex or as simple as you want. Mine is pretty simple um, in my eyes and some other people's eyes it might not be. Um, I have quick clot, I've got pressure bandages, I've got shears to cut things. Um, I also have, um, it's like a patch that you put over burns. Um, and I've got some other things. I got Dermabond, which is basically medical grade super glue. Um, super glue works good too. But I think if you're not gonna take any of my advice, you don't want a pistol, you don't want a first aid kit, this item right here is the number one thing that anyone should have. It doesn't matter if you fish or you don't. Tell your families about it. Great Christmas gift, it's a tourniquet. What this does is cuts off any excessive blood that you might be losing if you hemorrhage or let's say you're out there, you get bit by a rattlesnake. This will actually inhibit or slow down the venom from th through spreading throughout your body, right? Now, it's not gonna completely stop it, but it'll slow it down. How it works is, say I get bit here, or I'm bleeding out, I get cut. You slide this on, you tighten it up, as tight as you can, and it's on there, right? Now, with that being said, people are gonna be like, well, why can't I use a belt? Well, this is where the tourniquet wins in this scenario. You can turn this bar and it'll actually make it even tighter. And then it locks into place. Ooh, that's tight. And there you go. Anything below the affected limb will be protected. But this is what I carry. You can do whatever you guys wanna do. I just, my following, consists of a lot of local anglers. I don't have a huge following. People I know personally, 
um, local anglers from California and Arizona and I see and hear about them all the time on the water and the last thing I would want to see is something happening to them. So with that said, I'm gonna cut to the what I like doing the most and that's uh, my edits of my catches uh, from yesterday. A um, little report on that. Fishing was slow all day and then we ran into a school of fish and decided to put a whooping on them and nothing big but it was fun and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, stay tuned. It went through, it went through. Oh, it's a pig smalley, my guy. Did you hit the button on the back? There's one. It just put it just goes in there, right? Fucking good one, dude. Fuck, dude. Please get the net. Get the net. Holy shit, I think it's a smallie. Dude, I got my shit in there and everything. Please, dude, please. Dude, we're in trouble. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. It's a large mouth. <laughs> I had this one in my fucking spoon in there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at the net mess you got. Oh, it's probably like a three or a four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, day's ending. Got these two, I mean three, probably two, three pounders. He got a smally, nice one. Um, we're gonna let these fish go. Tough day out here. It was windy and cold all day. Water temps in the 60s. Um, other than that, there's not much to report. It was a really, really tough day. Uh, we're gonna weigh these fish. We're gonna let them go. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned.